The era of the cowboy and the birth of the cattle industry began with the end of the Civil War. In 1865, with the war over, tens of thousands were left homeless without work or land. Many were just leaving military service, and there were thousands of freed slaves. Where to go? What to do? The United States was divided, no longer between warring states, but between civilization and wilderness. East of the Dakotas, Nebraska, Kansas, and Texas were 41 million people. To the west, less than 2 million people. Attention turned to the last open land, the vast grasslands of the Midwest and the great basins of the Southwest, lands the farmers previously ignored. Settlers never wanted these lands. They thought they were too dry for farming because there were no trees, just grasses. But to others, this was perfect cattle grazing country. The first cattle herds had been introduced by the Spanish missionaries who settled America's Southwest. These Spanish herds became the breeding stock for hundreds of new ranches. The cattle business was helped along by a demand for beef in the populated east. And with the growth of the railroad, beef could be shipped to eastern markets and arrive fresh. The cattle industry was born. Cattle herds grew into the tens of thousands. There was no fencing, just open range. The herds were free to roam and graze anywhere they wanted. But none of this would have been possible if there wasn't someone to manage the herds and their reign. So a new hero was born, the cowboy. Cowboys were individuals displaced by a growing and turbulent society. Mostly in their early 20s, many cowboys were newly freed blacks or Mexicans who became citizens when America's borders extended after the Mexican War. Some cowboys were immigrants, but the vast majority were Easterners. The tools of their trade were their horses, ropes, and guns. 